Hello and welcome to the FL Studio video tutorial on using the Integrated Wave Editor. In this tutorial, you will learn how to perform common actions of the Wave Editor to manipulate your audio in FL Studio. First of all, let's have a look at the editor. To access the Wave Editor, select the parts channel settings, then either hit Ctrl E or select from the menu Sample Edit. The Wave Editor window is split into three sections. The toolbar at the top, which contains a set of buttons that will perform various operations in the Wave Editor, the large main area, which displays the current audio selection, and the full preview pane at the bottom, which displays the entire Wave, and allows you to select which section is shown in the large view. Drag the left and right edges of the rectangle to select the area that's visible in the main view. First of all, let's have a look at some of the tools that are available in the toolbar. You can open some profiles for editing and save them when you're done. The toolbar also provides standard transport controls such as play and stop. If you enter selection mode and select an area of the wave, you can use the play selection button to play back just that selection. If you are in loop mode, you can play back the current loop. Loops and selections are defined in selection mode. You can adjust the loop points by dragging the handles marked S for start and E for end. You can see now we're playing back the loop. To select only the left or right channel, move the cursor up and down in the main area until you see an L or an R next to your cursor. Now select as normal and only the right channel or the left channel is selected. If you right click, you'll see the Wave Editor's pop-up menu or quick access to some common wave processing functions. Let's fade in the left hand side. Another handy mode of operation is the zoom mode, which you can access by using the zoom mode button on the toolbar. In zoom mode, you can drag an area with your mouse, and the view will zoom to that area. Right click again to zoom out. You can also record a new WAV file in the WAV editor. The name and location of the WAV you're going to record are accessible from the settings window and the record tab. Once you have made a selection you require in the WAV editor, you can process the selection using the Process menu, which contains a number of common processing functions. You can fade in, fade out, normalize, or reverse your selection, as well as a range of other processing possibilities. The Edit toolbar will allow you to perform standard editing commands. Cutting, copying, pasting, and cropping is all available here to allow you to end up with just the audio you need in your tune. Okay, that's about it. We hope you enjoy this tutorial and that you now have a good feel for using the integrated FL Studio Wave Editor. Of course, there isn't time in a short video to cover all the possible options. FL Studio comes with excellent online documentation, which you can use alongside this tutorial to answer more detailed questions as your knowledge of the program increases. Thanks for your attention and have fun with FL Studio.